So lawmakers are considering a bill that would reduce the time an inmate must serve to be eligible for release. At issue in House Bill 1104 is the length of time violent offenders should stay in prison without eligibility for release and whether the type of crime impacts that decision. Maddie Bear Temple reports lawmakers considered those questions today in a Judiciary Committee hearing that pits criminal justice reform against public safety. The new bill would cut off 20% of the time inmates have to serve before being considered for release and add a host of violent crimes to those eligible. This bill involves a lot of very serious offenses, murder, manslaughter, rape, um, those types of offenses that the public takes very seriously. Stephanie Dasinger represents the North Dakota Chiefs of Police Association. She says some crimes are already receiving lighter sentences and parole revocations are happening less often, which together the association believes emboldens repeat offenders. The chiefs are concerned about those individuals being released from prison more quickly than they already are. Parole board clerk Stephen Hall says the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation supports the bill because it would encourage good behavior. That release opportunity, that carrot out there, that can impact how their behavior is within the institution, what um, programs they want to participate in, because they want to put their best image to the parole board. The bill would also apply retroactively to offenses occurring after July 31st, 1995. Hall says if it becomes law, 56 people would be considered up for release within the next two years. Grand Forks Democratic Representative Zach Ista was one of a handful of lawmakers who introduced the bill. Even 100% of sentence will not bring a true uh, sense of justice, but I do think this bill uh, allows the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation to apply its expertise to determine whether somebody who's been serving a long sentence has demonstrated evidence of rehabilitation. He says he'd be open to changing the percent from 65 to 75 or another number, but what's important is the reduction. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. The bill was moved to subcommittee consideration after discussion that the retroactive application of the bill violates the Constitution's ex post facto clause. Community Chairman Clemine says that committee will report back next week on an amended version of the bill. In continuing